Hello everyone and welcome to day four of our Make Me Over 21 Day Challenge presented by QLIN Inc. I am Deacqueline Williams, CEO of QLIN Inc. and founder and life coach of QLIN International Institute for Women. And today is all about attitude. Neck popping, eyes rolling, attitude that people choose to have. Now in the previous video I talked about how our emotions are choice driven and they are and so is our attitude the difference between emotions and attitude is this it is your your emotions is how you choose to feel but your attitude is how you choose to respond to how you feel how you choose to act out how you feel for instance uh, you know if you are having a bad day at home maybe your husband said something or did something and you chose to feel offended well, what happens is your attitude kicks in after that. And instead of maybe uh, preparing his food and, and putting it on a plate and putting it in front of him, you know, you may cook the food, but you may walk into another room and leave it to him to do something. Or you may give him the silent treatment. Uh, that's your attitude. And here's the thing about attitude that I did not say in our lesson today is uh, our attitude is really our ego, okay? It is our ego. And our ego is what, what, what I guess you can say, what some people use as a defense mechanism to say, okay, well, you're not going to hurt me, or you're not going to make me mad, or you're not going to do X, Y, Z, or I'm not going to allow you to. So we put up this defense mechanism and we have an attitude so that we can be put off to people or, or people will be put off by us. So here's the thing that we have to do is we have to check our attitude. Check it, okay? But that begins with your emotions. When you choose to change your emotions, then you're also going to choose to change your attitude. That's the key. Your emotions affect your attitude. And another thing, too, is when we begin, get into that place of ego, what we're saying is, God, I got this. You don't have to do anything. I'll handle him for talking to me that way. Or I'll handle this person, you know, for, for treating me this way in this situation. Or I'll handle my boss because they, I'll just not do what I'm supposed to do at work or whatever. You see, I'm rolling my neck while I'm talking. That's usually what happens when we begin to have a negative attitude. But here's the thing. You can have a positive, loving attitude where people will respond to you in a positive and loving way. And that's the thing. If you want people to treat you a certain way, then you got to put out in you know in the atmosphere uh the way you want to be treated you know it's true do unto others as you would have them to do unto you not everybody that you do to will do back to you but that's not your responsibility the way you respond is your responsibility so with that you have two questions to answer today and the first question is what is my general response to the circumstances in my life what is my general response? Again, going back to the situation at home, maybe if your husband says or does anything or your children say or do anything, how do you respond to them? And then the next question is, in what ways can I improve any negative responses? In what ways can I improve any negative responses? So here's our affirmation for today. Today I realize that my response is my responsibility. Therefore, I choose to respond in a positive manner. I will not allow anything or anyone to hinder me from displaying a positive attitude, no matter the situation. Well, make sure that you get your attitude in check. Check it. As always, you are great in Christ and you are powerful beyond measure. Be blessed.